bicycles have? Well, it's tires. Every bicycle has tires. And they come in many sizes and shapes and purposes, but they're all tires. And tires, they wear out eventually. And this is what we're going to cover in this video. So the first example of tire wear is... This is the most common form of tire wear, and that's just many, many miles of riding. This, when your tire rolls, there's friction, and over thousands of miles, the rubber on the tire wears, and that's just what happens. And once it builds up over time, and as you put more miles on the bike and the tire, so this is one example of it. As we can see, this tire, it doesn't, as a very even wear, but it's just getting through the casing. And that's how you know when you should stop using this tire. It served its purpose and it's done. Another way that tires wear is age. Eventually, as a tire sits around, the rubber dries out and cracks. This can also be sped up if it's sitting in the sun or sitting outside. This is very apparent with this tire. As you can see, the sidewall, which is the part on the side of the tire, you can pretty much see through it. And the fibers running on the sidewall, they're frayed and they're done. This is not a safe tire. If you put air in it, you have a high likelihood of the tire bursting and that's not a good thing to happen. One more thing that can happen to a tire is getting a puncture or pretty much what that means is that something from the outside pokes through the tire such as a thorn or a nail or even a really sharp rock. This can happen anywhere if you're riding on rough streets or mountain bike trails. This is a common thing, and once that happens, a tire is unfortunately done, especially if it goes all the way through the tire. That's not something that you want to do, It's, but you can't really help it. 